Once you've powered down the tablet, you can begin prying around the sides of it in between this back plastic here and the plastic silver bezel. It's clipped around on all sides, so you'll want to carefully work your way around the tablet until the back sort of starts to fall off. Once the back starts to come loose, you can begin to carefully pull it off, making sure not to damage any of the clips in the process. Before going any further, it's a good idea to detach the battery. Sliding an ESD safe tool underneath the wires and lifting it up slightly will begin to unseat the plastic clip portion of the battery. Doing this should allow you to slide underneath the clip itself and lift it out of place. To unclip the charge port, the green tape that holds the digitizer and the charge port connections to the board can be removed. The ZIF connectors for the two can be unclipped, and the ribbons can both be removed. You'll then want to remove the green tape covering the ZIF connector for the LCD, and remove that flex cable as well. To remove the battery, there will be 10 Phillips screws securing it in that will need to be removed. After these screws are taken out, the battery should lift right out. When placing the new battery in, you'll want to make sure all the flex cables are out of the way before replacing the 10 screws that were taken out before. Once the screws are fastened, the flex cables for the digitizer, LCD, and charge port can be slid back into the ZIF connectors and locked in. The green tape can then be replaced and the battery can be clipped back in before replacing the back housing. When replacing the back housing, you'll want to work your way around all sides of the tablet, making sure to fasten every clip, finishing the repair.